Thus, we can begin to observe this, sometimes referred to as the huge squeeze at any time, when we are triggered, this is because we have two evolutionary poles. Moreover, one should keep up the routine. It is a pretty powerful desire to be defensive or aggressive and try to numb ourselves, to stay in the cocoon, because in some ways, even if it is uncomfortable, we are more comfortable with something familiar. And it is a really strong urge to be defensive or aggressive and stay in the cocoon. To a certain extent. And at the other extreme, there is the magnetic pull of our future selves. There is a pull toward unfolding and flowering in us, just as there is in flower. Moreover, there are situations when you may answer a call from your future self. That you are where the Tibetans say you are, where an awakened heart is always and already present, where an enlightened awareness waits to be realized and is calling us, is where we want to be. Therefore, there is a pole to evolve, whether you like to think of it as a call from your future self or from an awakened heart. Both of these poles run deep and powerful, and by becoming more aware of them, we can free ourselves from the shackles of our habitual thinking. The self-defeating narratives we tell ourselves about our own flaws, the flaws of others, and the inevitability of failure in our own lives, as well as the relational patterns we keep repeating, can become readily apparent when we start to observe our own behavior. And you know, people frequently tell me that the most disheartening thing is realizing they are repeating the same cycle they did as kids in terms of trying to be unique and rejecting people because they were making them feel insecure, grasping, judging, and developing enemies. In this approach, we might continue to repeat the same patterns. If we're paying attention, we'll know it's time to replace them after a particular period of time. If we pay attention, we can train our presence to select options that are more adaptive than those they might otherwise replace. When that happens, we're actually registering. The plan is falling flat. Due to my tendency to be defensive or judgmental, I am wasting precious time and energy. Are dulling my senses in preparation for the moment of realization, after which we will have to adapt. Another way to put it is that difficulty is what wakes up, brilliance, as the saying goes. One interpretation I enjoy is the way our imaginations flourish under pressure. An elderly single man is interested in making preparations for his next vegetable garden. The ground is quite tough, making the work challenging. His only son, who used to help him in the spring, was now behind bars. Therefore, he is in a tricky situation. He then writes a letter to his son, detailing his position, and waits for a reply. He confided. Dear, I'm feeling really unhappy this year since it looks like I won't be able to plant my vegetable garden, and it's caused me a lot of discontents. My age has made it so that I can no longer maintain a garden. I know all my problems would vanish if you were here with me right now. I'm sure you'd gladly dig the plot for me like you used to. Love you. He receives a letter from his son a few days later. Dear father, please do not dig up that garden. And that is where the bodies are laid to rest. Love, your son. The following day, at 4 a.m., the investigating agencies sweep in with local police. They dig the entire region, but locate no bodies. They leave after apologizing to the old man. He received another letter from his son that day. Dear father, go ahead and sow the vegetables. The best I could do, under given the situation. I got a pretty creative response to stress.